Power comes in response to a need, not a desire. Power comes in response to a need, not a desire. You have to create that need. What's going on everybody? This is your boy G coming back to you from the 432 and in this video I'd really like to rewind back to the newly released teaser trailer of the Dragon Ball Dima series and give you a full breakdown of what we're looking at here folks because nobody expected to see what we're about to talk about. The 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball is going to be unforgettable, absolutely historic everybody. This new series is going to bring back so many fans, older fans, younger fans, and even the new Newer generations of children to come. This is so exciting, everybody. Long live Dragon Ball. But without further ado, let's get into this breakdown video because I have a lot to say. First things first, the trailer starts off with a timeline of the Dragon Ball franchise, beginning with 1984's Dragon Ball manga, 40 years ago. And then we hit into 1986 where we see the Dragon Ball anime series, which led up to the 1989's Dragon Ball Z anime series, which was personally my favorite series. And then we head into 1986 where Dragon Dragon Ball GT was released, the anime continuation of the storyline, not the manga, the anime. Then, about 15 years later, the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie came out in 2013, followed up by the unforgettable movie of the Resurrection of Frieza, which did not disappoint, which opened up the franchise into doing the Dragon Ball Super series that ended with the Tournament of Power, only they didn't stop there, they gave us another movie in 2018 called Dragon Ball Super Broly where four years later they came back to give us the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie, which was very successful worldwide. The Gohan Beast and the Orange Piccolo was beautiful. And now for the moment we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you what they're bringing us in the fall of 2024. The beginning of the end, everybody. Listen up, because we're going to go over some very important things that I'm looking at right here. This is beautiful stuff. The art is just beautiful. The rain that's happening right here in this scene. It's literally raining hellfire, everybody. This is probably from a different universe or a realm of some sort, but I really like the raining hellfire. Now, here's what I really want to talk to you about. I do not want to hear any skeptics or non-fans saying that this isn't a part of the storyline. Yes, it is, folks. It says here, original work, story, and character design by Akira Toriyama, the main dude that started this franchise 40 years ago. Now, I believe what we're looking at here is the inside of that castle-looking thing in the underworld slash demonic realm. And this is where it gets interesting, because we get our first glimpse at the two new villains that our heroes are going to have to overcome. Now, this is where it gets really interesting, folks, because I believe that these characters are Majin characters because they're wearing very similar looking capes that they were wearing in the Boo Saga and plus they're looking at scenes from the Boo Saga everybody pay attention to this this is where it gets even better because it looks to me like the shorter villain is wearing a pride trooper outfit only he's wearing a cape over it and the other villain standing next to him looks to me like he or she is wearing a supreme kai outfit and honestly to me this looks like the western supreme kai that majin buu defeated thousands of years ago everybody this is very interesting stuff and i'm gonna do a separate video over these two characters everybody this will not be brushed aside i will get back to it so please stay tuned and if you haven't already please be sure to hit that like share and subscribe button so you do not miss out on another video this is great great stuff everybody I cannot wait for 2024, but let's move on. An all-new series, all right? And then we get this weird-looking vehicle flying through the sky, and it's more than likely a spy drone, but I'm not going to say anything too crazy right now. But a story untold in Dragon Ball. Now, somebody makes a wish because, obviously, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights come off the lookout. And it may or may not be the Dragon Balls because if you're a Dragon Ball fan, you know that the Dragon Balls shoot straight up first and then separate. So this is probably maybe newer Dragon Balls or maybe a different form of Dragon Balls. Who knows, everybody? I'm really not too sure what that is. The light is also blue because in the next shot, we see the Dragon Balls in a yellow light. So there's definitely a wish being made because Shenron appears in this beautiful, beautiful art, everybody. I can't get enough of it. 
Now state your wish. So yes, there is a wish being made in this movie, but who made the wish, everybody? Because from the next couple of shots, it seems to me that somebody made an unusual wish to our heroes. And it had to happen on Dragon Ball's 40th anniversary, ladies and gentlemen. This is amazing stuff. But we get this really cool shot of the Dragon Balls where we get our first shot of Kid Goku and Kid Vegeta together, folks. Nobody ever expected to see this. Nobody ever thought it would be possible, ladies and gentlemen. This is amazing stuff. And to make it even better, we get a kid Bulma and kid Chi Chi together. This is so crazy, everybody. This is definitely going to bring the two ladies a lot closer, folks. I'm very excited for the future for these two. But on to the next panel, we see kid Hercule, everybody. This is so funny because we're not used to seeing him without his mustache. I cannot wait to hear how he sounds like, folks. This is so crazy. Crazy. And this next shot is where the nostalgia came in for me, folks, because we got to see a kid Krillin once again. And there's no telling if the voice actor is going to bring back that same feel that the 1986 voice actor brought to the table. But then we get a shot at Kid Android 18 and Baby Marin, and even Puar Oolong and Yamcha once again, folks. Supreme Kai, Kabito, Piccolo, Ox King, and even my man Master Roshi, folks. He's probably going to get to be the biggest heartbreaker that he's been wanting to be for so long, pulling all the ladies. So you can expect to see some perverted stuff in this series, everybody. This is so funny. And this next shot I really love because not only did we get to see Baby Trunks again, we get our first glimpse at baby Goten. We never got to see Goten as a baby. This is new stuff, folks. We should be loving this. And then we get a really cute shot of everybody having dinner before we see Goku being and acting like a kid again, like his old self, everybody. This is very nostalgic stuff. And in this next shot, we get to see the drone once again, or it may even be a different drone traveling through what it looks like a portal, everybody, a demonic portal. We can't really say too much about it, but it looks like it's traveling through hyperspace, like something out of Star Wars, but this is pretty cool. And I really love the animation shots that they're getting of the lookout, everybody. They may the lookout looks so peaceful once again like the old school Dragon Ball Z and then we get this shot of Supreme Kai, Kabito, and Goku entering what looks like a secret room in the lookout. This is a very interesting interesting shot. Goku looks surprised, Supreme Kai looks focused, Kabito looks serious, Something's happening here, folks. Who knows? But in the next couple of shots, we get to see Goku visiting Karin once again, bringing back that old-school Dragon Ball feel, everybody. This is so, so nostalgic. I cannot get over it, especially the art. The art makes it seem like the editors and animators heard the fans about the Dragon Ball Super animation because it was trash. It was completely trash. The 90s version art style was a lot better than Dragon Ball Super. And now, in the Dragon Ball Daima series, I believe they combined a little bit of the two because it just looks beautiful. And then we get this really funny shot of Kid Vegeta and Kid Goku having a moment, and I cannot wait to see the chemistry that these two bring to the table. I believe it's going to be the same, but who knows if their personalities were altered during this transformation, everybody. This is very interesting stuff. And more nostalgia once again, folks. Goku reunites with his power pole once again. If he gets to keep the power pole again and not put it back under the lookout, he more than likely will pass this on to Pan or maybe even Oob once they get to the end of Z. This is very interesting stuff. I'm going to do a separate video over this one day, so stay tuned, folks. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Do not miss out, folks. I'm telling you. But look at the art, everybody. This is absolutely beautiful. Nobody expected this. Nobody. And in this next shot, it looks like something obviously has traveled down to planet Earth. And in this next shot, it definitely looks like Bulma is investigating and looking into what fell into Earth the same way she did with the Saiyan space pod back in the Saiyan saga, as well as Kami's ship. And then we get some more beautiful footage of Goku using his power pole, more than likely warming up with it since he hasn't really used it since the Dragon Ball Z movie, The World's Strongest. So this is definitely going to bring some nostalgia, folks. And we haven't really talked about his outfit. The outfit looks really, really cool. It kind of looks like he just went to Goten's wardrobe and used one of his outfits, but I'm really curious to see where he got this outfit from. But in this next shot, we see what looks like a Super Dragon Ball. It could be a regular size Dragon Ball, but if you've seen Dragon Ball Super, Super, you'll know that the Super Dragon Balls are as big as planets, and this looks like it's as big as the sun. And in this next shot, we get this very, very interesting shot of what looks like 
maybe another villain. It could possibly be a flashback to King Piccolo when he separated from Kami. It could be Garlic Jr. Or maybe even a new villain. Like I said, who knows everybody. This definitely deserves its own video. So stay tuned everybody. Stay tuned. And then we get this really cute shot of Supreme Kai and Goku sleeping folks. This is very, very Dragon Ball. Nobody ever thought that Goku would get to a god state and meet gods from different planets, universes, realms. This shot alone shows you just how far Dragon Ball has came in 40 years everybody. This is a great shot. I'm going to be bringing this up a lot. But in the next shot we get to see what looks like that drone once again descending from the sky as well as Goku in this next shot taking a dime from what looks like Korin Tower in a very old school style. But I'm wondering if Goku knows how to fly. That's a question that I think nobody has asked. Do they know how to fly still? Do they have their powers? Or are they going to be using their martial arts skills throughout the entire series? Leave a comment down below if you think that they still know how to fly and use their special powers because this is a perfect time to have Goku ride the Nimbus Cloud once again. I know we saw Goten using it in the Dragon Ball Super manga but it would be really great and very very nostalgic to see Goku ride it one more time. Kid Goku at that. Now these next couple of shots, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this art. I believe they put this art in there to showcase just how well this series is going to look. I mean, look at the dragon. It's very detailed. It's very beautiful. This is crazy, crazy stuff. I believe the animation editor's name is Nakatsuru. I, I'm not too sure what his first name is, but I've been hearing that his name is Nakatsuru. Now right here we get this really interesting shot of what looks like the taller villain, everybody. The Dai Kaioshin, the Supreme Kai looking one. And who knows, this may even be the Supreme Kai's sister. Who knows, everybody? Leave in the comment section down below who you think this is. Like in the next couple of shots too, who do you think that is? But we get some more shots of that spy drone before landing here to this frame shot right here, everybody. Now this is very important. Pay attention because they're giving us a very important clue. These two new villains are more than likely Majin characters, folks. We will be seeing the iconic Majin symbol once again that I will be talking about when I do my separate video over the new villains, folks. Stay tuned. I'm telling you, very important stuff. But then the trailer starts closing out with some beautiful choreography and beautiful shots of Goku and Vegeta battling it out once again. And you can just see how flawless the art style is going to be, folks. Get ready to be blown away by this newer sense of nostalgia, folks. This is beautiful artwork by Nakatsuru and the rest of the animation company, whoever was involved. Much respect to you, my friends. This is beautiful stuff. Toei Animations, Akira Toriyama, Nakatsuru, Akio Yoku, please do not stop what you're doing. Look at this beautiful artwork. It doesn't look so video gamey like the Dragon Ball Super Super Hero movie did. It actually looks really good. They even recreated the iconic Gallic Gun versus Kamehameha wave before completely closing out with this really beautiful shot of what looks like Kid Goku showing the audience that he's ready for his comeback, folks. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, everybody. Dragon Ball Daima comes out in fall of 2024, one year from now. There's definitely a lot to cover, ladies and gentlemen, which is why I'm going to be doing separate videos covering very, very important stuff. I just wanted to do a quick breakdown video over the trailer because I only saw it through somebody streaming it on YouTube. So this was very, very fun, folks, and I appreciate you tuning in. It really means a lot. So much is going to happen fall of 2024, everybody. You can expect to see a lot of speculations of what is going to happen who's going to be in it, fake images being leaked out, fake articles, so be careful what you read out there. I'm going to do my best to give you some raw and real content, everybody. Really going to do my best, but for now, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and if you're new to this channel, you can hit like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned for the next video. Until then, peace, love, and hair grease, my friends. This is your boy, G. I'm out.